happen everybody Garden City Aviation here back with another video and today's video I'm going I'm bringing you guys the Jim and Jets December 2020 releases um okay so right now it is 302 p.m. as I'm filming this it is November 24th 2020 two days before Thanksgiving Jim and Jets has just dropped the December 22 releases like actually two minutes ago uh, I've just gotten a chance to look at them so I this is actually my first impression unlike my last one where I already pre-ordered the models this is like an absolute um first impressions of these models so without further ado let's get started starting off with the top of the list you have an airbridge cargo um triple seven f i don't think these still fly anymore uh looks pretty cool i think this is gonna be popular with those of you who do uh like luxembourg um I don't know, maybe Moscow, Sheremetyevo, you know, airports like that. But this is uh, Airbridge Cargo, 777-300. Uh, registration, Victor, Quebec, Bravo, Alpha, Oscar. It is $55.95. Oh, wow, Gemini actually re-released this. Um, wow, Gemini actually did re-release this. This is the British Airways Concorde. Uh, wow. They uh, For those of you who don't know, um... Pardon me, uh, British Airways did release this uh, aircraft, not British Airways, Gemini Jets, they released the British Airways Concorde really long time ago, I think it was 2000, 2015, I think 2015-16 they did it, um, they re-released it for some reason, either it's really, really popular or it's just, uh, just because they wanted to, but this is uh, what the model looks like. It, it, the registration is Golf Bravo Oscar Alpha Bravo. It's forty four ninety five. Okay, so I do have a Air France Concorde Socatec, and what I don't get is that why would they price it forty four ninety five? I I got mine for thirty two bucks. I mean, granted it did come broken, but still, I bought mine for thirty two bucks, and Gemini is charging forty four ninety five for this one. That's a little bit pricey. Uh, but anywho, moving down the line, we have a lot of lot of good uh aircraft we have a delta airbus a321 neo in the thank you livery uh this is what the aircraft looks like uh registration is november 391 delta november uh it is 44.95 that does not make sense at all what <sighs> gemini jets what the hell um i'm sorry for my language but why? Why are you doing it $44? You, you get. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but like $44.95, that's like what I can buy on Easy Toys. I can buy all these aircraft for a cheaper amount of money. I don't know why Gemini just does this. They just have to be at, um, dumb people. Uh, but sorry. Sorry for that rant. Uh, but anywho, moving on, it's the thank you livery. Uh, once again, we'll take one other look at it. This is what the aircraft looks like. And moving on online, we have a lot of AC20 Neos. Uh, AC20 Neos. This is the uh, Iberia Express A321 Neo. It's going to be popular with those of you who are European collectors. I know when I start building Prague in a few years, because uh, right now I'm so busy in Europe, but when I start building Prague in a few years, this most likely um, will be uh, an aircraft that I need to get. Right now I don't need it. Um, I might get it, but most likely I'm not gonna get it. I'd rather focus um, my money on aircraft that I need for Newark rather than stuff that I don't need. But yeah, this is what it looks like. It's an Iberia Express AT21 Neo. Registration Echo Charlie November Golf Papa, and it is $44.95. Moving down the list is going to be popular for those of you who do JFK. I know this is gonna be pretty popular. I've seen such JFK before. This is, pardon me, this is the Lufthansa Cargo. MD-11 in the new livery. Since they repainted, Lufthansa did repaint their cargo aircraft into new livery, and that indicates that the MD-11s and stuff, those really older aircraft in Lufthansa Cargo's fleet, they're not going to retire anytime soon, because why would you repaint an aircraft that you're just about to retire um, in the new livery? But yeah, this is uh, what the aircraft looks like. Registration is Delta Phones Rigging. Sorry. Uh, anyway, registration is Delta. Up. Okay, registration is Delta Alpha Lima Charlie Delta. 
uh, and the price is fifty ninety five. Moving down the line, this is going to be popular with you Australian and retro collectors. I know they've retired their last 744, but I don't, I don't know. Jim and I, you're, you're like seven months late, but uh, anywho. This is the Qantas 747400 in their normal-ish livery. Um, it, it's just a normal livery Qantas 744. That was what it looks like. Uh, registration Victor Hotel, Oscar Echo Hotel, and it's $59.95. There are a lot of good releases looking at this. There are really, really, really good releases. Um, moving on down the line, we have a Southwest 737-700 in the Illinois 1. Uh, about a week ago, so this was, I'm filming this November 24th, 2020. Uh, about a week ago, which is like the November, November 14th, I believe, they flew uh, this aircraft down to storage at Victorville, so I guess Gemini Jets had this in the works, and then like, when they saw that it was, they, I guess they don't know that's flying down, but I don't know why they were released at Illinois 1 when, at this point, it's not even, like, a thing anymore. Uh, it's, it's in storage right now, I do believe so. So I don't know why they do this, but uh, I hope this is on the new, new mold. But yeah, this is what it looks like. This is going to be, this is going to sell really fast as every Southwest new livery aircraft sells out really fast. Um, I'm not going to get any of Gemini's 737-700 Southwest, uh, primarily because I don't need them at all for Newark. Uh, Southwest don't even fly to Newark. It's not even a, they don't do it during the summer. They've never, at, they used to fly to Nashville, but they don't anymore. So yeah, this is going to be popular with you American collectors. Um, it's November 918 Whiskey November, and it is $44.95, and of course it's in the Illinois 1 livery. Uh, anywho, okay, this this one I'm 100,000% going to get. This is the, uh, this is the Spirit A320 Neo. Um, for those of you who do not know, the Spirit, they do, uh, five or six routes they fly to Newark. I am gonna buy this for Newark, hopefully. Um, I do hope to get it for Newark. This is just a regular Spirit AC20 Neo in the Bananas livery. Um, I, I might not get this though, because Jim and I do have a problem with the uh, engines on the bottom of their aircraft. So, really, why would I get an aircraft that is, you know, really just oofed up and broken? Not broken, but the engines, the Neo engines. Have a habit of touching the ground, so like, why would I get an aircraft that you know touches the ground like that with engines? Because it's not realistic. But if I have to, I'll get it. Like, this is one of my maybe. This is on my like really, really maybe, maybe list. Like, I, I might actually get this. Uh, but anywho, registration November nine zero two November kilo. This is forty four ninety five. Moving on, I actually spotted this. Uh, this is the United States of America uh, seven five seven two hundred and the. I don't know what you call this livery. I don't. Would you call it Air, Air Force? It's Air Force Two. Basically, it carries the vice president. Uh, this is the aircraft. I want to see how Gemini is gonna do with the color. The this color. I want to see how they're gonna do with that. But uh, anywho, this is the aircraft. I did spot this at Stewart Airport. Uh, Stewart Airport is airport in New York. On flight radar twenty four. Search it. I spotted at Stewart in July. I want to say. Uh, I do go up there every two weekends, so yeah, but uh, I spotted it in July. This would be, in, like, for those of you who do, like, military sections, this would be a cool aircraft for you to have. Uh, but I don't need it for Newark. Uh, registration is 800-8002. It is $46.95, and it is Air Force 2. But I do want to see how Gemini do with the winglets, because um, on their older aircraft, I heard that the winglets are pretty chunky, and I had the California Herald here done by Gemini. Anyway, it was really chunky. Um, it, it was a very chunky mold, the, the winglet, so I'm gonna see how Gemini's gonna do with this. Uh, but anywho, that was the aircraft, and I told you guys all the information. Okay! This one! This one! Oh my gosh! Yes! 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 I'm getting this! Okay. This is the Antonov AN-124 in the Volga Dnieper Airlines livery. Wow! 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 I would like Gemini to make this in an interactive, though. Yeah, I'd like Gemini to make this into an interactive. That would be really cool, but this is what the aircraft looks like. This aircraft did fly into Stewart uh, International Airport. It flew into Stewart 
April, either April or May, uh, it flew into Stewart from uh, Petro Pavlovsk Kamchatsky, PKC. Uh, yeah, so I actually did spot this aircraft. Uh, registration was Romeo Alpha 82078 and 6595. No, um, sorry, uh, that, that was just something that came across my mind. But uh, anywho, okay, this is going to be very popular uh, with you German collectors, Aviation 18. I think he might get this, uh, but for those of you who are building military sections and things like that, you guys can go ahead. I'm not getting it. Really, I only need one aircraft from this release, not even. So yeah, but this is the Luftwaffe uh, Airbus A400M. It looks it looks pretty nice. It's just standard Gemini Max. Um, it's registration five four plus ten. I love how they put the plus ten when in reality. Uh, the plus 10 is the Iron Cross, which is kind of like a symbol from Germany. Like, I know many people associate it with the Nazis, but it's actually not Nazi. Uh, this symbol originates back to the German monarchy, um, and they've just been using the symbol ever since. Um, even the Weimar Republic used it, so they've just been using that symbol ever since. But yeah, it is 46.95, and the registration is 54 plus 10. Okay, now. There's a, there's a lot of retros. There's a lot of um, retros in the Gemini 200s. So in the Gemini 200s, this that, that is really weird. I don't know why Gemini skipped the November 2020 releases. I, either it's weird they're doing December and then November, or it's just the October to November. That that's that that's weird. Uh, but anywho, moving on to the 1 to 200 scale, we have this British Caledonian. Uh, I'm so sorry for that. British Caledonian AC-10. It looks pretty nice. Those of you who are retro collectors and who just want to collect 1 to 200 models, this is for you. Pardon. Uh, but this is for you. British Caledonian A400. AC-10. Uh, sorry, A400. AC-10. Looks pretty nice. Uh, British Caledonian did go... Either they... I think they went bankrupt or did they merge? I don't know. Uh, but they're, sorry, I, I don't know a lot about UK Airlines, I know a lot about American Airlines, but, like, you know, like, United Lufthansa, not Lufthansa, United Spirit, etc., but I don't know a lot about, like, British Caledonian stuff, because I live in the United States. Uh, but anywho, it's a British Caledonian AC-10-200, Magician Golf, Bravo, Kilo, Whiskey, ta uh, Tata, Tango, uh, and it's 122.95. Okay, moving on down the line, we have this KLM Lockheed L-1011 Electra. Um, I don't know why they keep releasing these retro liveries. Because people, I know somebody who's building a 1 to 200 airport on Instagram, who wants to, should I say. Uh, and he slash she wants to collect, you know, models from the now. And there's a lot of retro 1 to 200s. There's not really a lot of retro 1 to 400s, more 1 to 200. So yeah, but this is what it looks like. Uh, registration Papa Hotel, Lima Lima Echo. And the price of it is $91.95. Just from that price, I could literally get the AN-124 and AC-20 new off of Easy Toys. But, uh, that, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm off topic. I'm sorry. Okay, uh, moving, down, moving on down the line. We have this Lufthansa AC-40-300 in the new livery. Uh, last year, when I was on a Virgin Atlantic AC-30 coming back from London... I actually spotted this uh, at Newark. It's, she looks pretty in real life. I want to see how German I do with the wing slope because they, they've been really releasing a lot of AC40 molds, uh, AC40 aircraft lately. They've released this in 1 to 400, but now they're releasing it in 1 to 200, which kind of makes sense. Uh, but anywho, uh, there's a preview of the aircraft. Uh, AC4300 registration Delta Alpha India Foxtrot Delta. And the price of it is $146.95. Moving on down the line, we have a Northwest. So okay, 747400. We have a Northwest 747400. There, there's no logo. What? Sorry. Uh, I don't know a lot about these Vetcher Airlines. Um, Northwest, especially, because I, I wasn't even alive when Northwest were a thing. So. Yeah, uh, but anywho, I do believe they merged in 2009, I want to say, but but I don't know. Uh, but anywho, this is the aircraft, uh, 1 to 4, 1 to 200 actually, uh, of November 663 Uniform Sierra, and the price is 100, 
200 wow 18695 for that i can literally get a refurbished iphone 7 like, like that, that's a lot okay so the only difference between this northwest uh, the one that i showed you guys and the one that i'm about to show that i'm about to show is that there's flaps and slats extended uh, again gemini again you got to is it seriously that hard for Gemini to literally show the flaps down? They have to write flaps down, flaps down configuration over the aircraft. Like, are you kidding? Uh, but anywho, this is basically the same aircraft as before. It has the same registration number, 663 Uniform Sierra. So, yeah. And it's the same price, of course, because literally all it is just a piece of plastic pointing down. But, uh, whatever. Um... Okay, th there's two flaps, slats extended things. So I'm just gonna show the ones with the flap and slats extended. Again, Gemini, again with this, sorry. The only difference between the other Qantas 744 that you guys saw and this one is that the this one has flaps down and the other one doesn't. Uh, it's the same one as in 1-400, except in 1-200. This is what it looks like. Uh, this is what it looks like, the one with the slats, uh, flap slats down. This is the one without, there's really no difference. Uh, it's the same registration as the, what? Okay, what did I just do? Okay, technical difficulties. Okay, so back to here. Um, yeah, only difference between these two is that uh, one has flaps down, one doesn't. Okay, so moving on, we have a TUI 787-9 Dreamliner. Um, I, I, re I really don't know much about TUI. I Please don't quote me on this. If you guys know uh, uh, more about TUI, please comment down below. But this is a TUI 787-9 Dreamliner. Uh, this is 1-400. to nothing, There's nothing very really special about it. It's just a TUI 789. Uh, registration is Golf Tango Uniform India Mike. And it is, wow, 146.95. Okay. Okay. Um, here we have a... And then moving on. I don't think... This looks weird. Uh... So it's a United States of America Gulfstream G550. I don't know if this is um if it has a registration, it probably is real, which it does. But th this is this looks very very appealing to me, very visually appealing to me. It looks really cool. Um, yeah, so that's a Gulfstream G550 U.S. government registration six zero five zero zero, and it's seventy ninety five. Moving on down the line. This is going to be a Lockheed C-130 Hercules for the United States Marines Blue Angels. I actually saw this sexual aircraft at the uh, 2019 Stewart Air Show. This was July 4th, 2019. It was at the uh, Stewart Air Show. It was taking off with rockets, so that, that was really cool. This is what the aircraft looks like. Blue Angels, um, U.S. Air Force, and registration is 17000. Quadruple zero one seven zero 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 zero, uh, and it is eighty nine ninety five, and of course it is Blue Angels. So, uh, really, all I'm gonna get from this release, most likely, because Delta only flies seven three sevens and the occasional AT twenty one. I don't need AT twenty one Neo more than the NG Delta. Uh, Delta's AT twenty one Neos don't fly off into New uh, Newark, so I'm probably gonna get. Uh, like I said, I'm going to get uh, NG Delta 78, but that's another story. Um, and I might get the Spirit of the Tony Neal, the Volga Nepper. I'm going to ask for this for Christmas. I know, don't, please don't call me noob. Uh, but I'm going to ask for this one for Christmas because it's, it's a really cool model. Um, but yeah, uh, Spirit of the Tony Neal, I'm going to check. I might get this. So I might get the Spirit of the 21 Antonov and 124. And the Delta AT-20 Neo, but in all odds, most likely I'm just going to get the AT-20 Neo and Vogue and Nippray and one two four. but I'm not going to get anything else from this release. Uh, and that does conclude this video. If you guys like the video, please like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my videos, and comment down below which models you're getting from this release, and tell me more about TUI, because I have no idea. Once again, thank you for watching today's video, and I'll see you in the next video. As always, goodbye.